Want to go Vermonting? You can't do much better than Arlington, a throwback town surrounded by mountains. You're a quintessential movie small town. Arlington is very much the way Vermont was 50 years ago. Cell service is iffy, inns and stores are few, but there's plenty of color in Arlington, foliage and all. Located in the state's southwest corner, it's a little more than three hours drive from Boston. We're in the Battenkill Valley. We are nestled between the Green Mountains and the Taconic Mountains. And the Battenkill River runs through Arlington, which is a famous trout fishing river. Amy Emmons owns the West Mountain Inn, set on 150 acres with 17 antique filled rooms and a popular restaurant. Locals support the inn as much as tourists. There's probably only about 3,000 people in the town, and a lot of the people who've lived here, their families have lived here for generations. Well, what do you got today? Nice. Squash, tomatoes. Larry Janney of Apple Hill Farm is a friend at the inn, selling produce out of his 1965 Buick Skylark to executive chef Jeff Scott. You have the best parsley, Larry. Yeah, thanks. Chef Scott has bought from Janney for 30 years. Doesn't use any pesticides or anything like that. I don't know that you get that everywhere else. On the menu today, scallops with steamed spaghetti squash and tomato coulis, pan-seared chicken with purple potatoes and oyster mushrooms, and sometimes... Chef Scott dabbles in more unconventional fare. I've just taken cannabis butter and used it like a classic herb butter. Chef Scott has won awards for his cannabis-infused food. Most cannabis edibles are sweet, but I've had the opportunity to do a lot of savory things lately. Including sweet potato and mushroom cake, mini grilled cheese sandwiches, even apple cider donuts. It will definitely have the same effect as smoking. Take note, none of these items are served at the restaurant, only at private functions. We control the dosage, and it's an event where people are familiar and know what to expect. More surprises at the town jeweler. Burnham Jewelers is the place to go for custom designs, repairs, and one-of-a-kind fine jewelry. I draw my influences a lot from antique and vintage jewelry, so many of my designs have sort of an Art Deco vibe. Owner Philip Burnham started in the jewelry business as a teenager on the Cape. I sold my first diamond at 13. It's a big deal. It was an 81-pointer for $2,300, I still remember. Burnham mostly works alone in his small workshop. The Heart of Vermont bracelet. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Still warm. That's so pretty. Sprinkled around the shop are family photos. Turns out three of Burnham's five kids, sons Alex, Andre, and Forrest, formed a band called simply Burnham. They hit it big in 2010. They got signed to a major record label, Island Def Jam Records, toured with Justin Bieber, 25 shows all over the country in the big arenas, Boston Garden. His sons still make music, but chose to focus on college and grad school. Burnham is proud of his family and his business of more than two decades. It starts with quality. If you don't do good work, you, you're not gonna see people back. Perhaps the most beloved place in town, the Wayside Country Store. Longtime owners Nancy Shorn and her family embody country store camaraderie. My husband was huge on greeting people, and he passed that on to the rest of us. Open every day from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., the Wayside is known for its huge product mix, deli, and round table. People generally have two places that are solid for them, their home and their job, and most people have a third place. For some, it's a church, for some, it's a bar, and for some, it's a round table at the Wayside. One regular night at this table is Ray Smith, whose father ran the store from 1939 to 1954. On this day, he stopped by with free ghost peppers. I picked up a package of pepper plants. I accidentally got those, and boy, I tell you, they're hot. Anybody that's brave enough can have them. Another round tabler, Peter Pavlovich, who lives in Arlington while working at a healthcare startup in Boston. Mondays and Fridays, the entire team works remotely, and then Tuesday through Thursday, we're in the office. You must really love Arlington. When we were looking for a place, one of the things that inspired us was this very store. It just made us feel at home. I could absolutely not do it without my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter. 
They are my backbone. I'm the historian and the greeter, and I love being here. It's nice to be needed at my age, and that's very heady stuff when you start packing on a few years. Mm. And great news from the Wayside Country yeah. Store. Nancy tells us they have just reopened the mm. round table after having to close it, of course, for the pandemic. So that is great news. And the round table really is a signature of the Wayside. Mm. People gather every morning to, to, to discuss politics on Wednesday night. They have a knitting circle that gathers and on other nights they have live music where people just sit around and enjoy what they hear. So it's really a great great place to come together as a community. Glad it's reopened. Up next to go Vermonting, you have to look the part.